good god the fucking percentage of my life I fucking spend keeping all these goddamn fossil fueled machinery running so here we have this unbelievably spectacularly gorgeous day it is 75 degrees 75 degrees at one o'clock in the afternoon on uh, on this outlandishly gorgeous Friday afternoon July 26th 2024 75 degrees for the high today so I uh, said all right we're not having a tsunami today we're not having a fucking heat wave today it is spectacularly gorgeous and I can get caught up on my mowing go out there yank the fucking cord and it breaks I, I, you know god damn it uh so pack up the fucking gas sucking lawnmower into the truck drive i would say 20 miles round trip in the gas sucking truck to go to the goddamn lawnmower and chainsaw shop just laid out 70 fucking dollars I paid $100. I paid $100 for this gas sucking lawnmower uh, three years ago. Uh, and I just paid $70 for a new cord, a new yank cord on this goddamn thing. Uh, 70 fucking dollars, but we're good to go for another three years on this gas sucking mower. And, uh,. So the reason I'm even on the fucking gas sucking mower, you know, this motherfucking $650 piece of shit electric mower that I bought, I, so I used the thing the first season and I forgot to bring the batteries inside and so they just stayed out in the garage. Uh, all through the first winter for six months and uh, so I was hearing that's not a good thing to let your uh, your lawnmower batteries sit through a six month winter <coughs> in New York so last fall I said alright I actually remembered to bring the batteries in to you know into the house for the winter so they would stay warm and there's just one problem I forgot to take the batteries out of the charger so uh, while the batteries stayed nice and warm for six months they sat in the char I mean not plugged in just sitting in the charger not plugged in get back and, and uh, of course the fucking uh, batteries have exploded and melted fucking battery acid all over the charger uh, so, so I, I, I paid $650 uh, for the mower for the charger and two uh, four amp batteries I guess so uh, I said well the whole thing was six hundred and fifty dollars well, well guess how much the, the the two batteries and the charger were were like close to four hundred fucking dollars I said fuck you on this thing so that the mower is perfectly good the, the, the mower itself uh, looks like it's goddamn brand new uh, but but I'm not paying four hundred fucking dollars uh, for a fucking battery charger and these two fucking batteries. So I get this three-year-old uh, mower that I paid a hundred fucking dollars for three years ago. That's pretty much been sitting outside in Florida, out in the swamp in Florida for three fucking years. It's been used like once or twice in three years. Uh, I, I, I brought that thing back up here. This thing is an absolute monster. 
Uh, I have been using the thing all summer. Uh, I, I don't know how old the goddamn mower was. It's a Poulon. Uh, never had a Poulon. It's got a Briggs and Stratton six and a half horse uh, gas sucking engine on it. But uh, a six and a half horsepower gas sucking engine ain't worth a shit if the if the string don't work. Oh, uh, man. So anyway, I have just now spent, well, what, uh, so far an hour and ten minutes. So we'll call it an hour and a half out of my fucking day, 20 miles on a gas-sucking truck, uh, and 70 fucking dollars out of my pocket so I can start my gas-sucking lawnmower. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, I just get so sick and tired of this bullshit. And it is what it is when you are a vacation rental super host. People like to have a neatly mowed lawn as uh, everything crashes and burns around them. Oh, fuck. Anyway, get out there and enjoy mowing your lawn on a 75 degree July afternoon while you still can. Bye guys.